Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Colin uh, Lockerin, Lockerin versus Jake Hadley. Colin Lockerin, nine and one, four and one. His last five fights. His one loss was against Taylor Lapless in a crazy switch around fight. He wasn't supposed to fight him at all. Uh, minus one ninety five favorite. Twenty eight years old. Five six with a sixty eight inch reach. Fighting Jake Hadley, ten and three, two and three in his last five fights on a two fight losing streak. Though he's fought good fighters, Cody Durden and Charles Johnson. He then bef before that beat Malcolm Gordon and uh, Carlos Candelario. Before that, actually lost to Alan Nascimento in a fight that's just... Alan Nascimento is a very, very good fighter. That's a hard debut to make two years ago. Um, plus 165 underdog, 27 years old. 5'7 with a 70-inch reach, 2-inch reach advantage for... Uh, Jake Hadley. The problem I have with this matchup for Jake, besides it being on short notice already, is I, I really think early Hadley's going to be fine. He's going to defend takedowns fine. He's going to be defensively okay. The problem is the back half of the fight. Like two and a half minutes left of the second round is where I think Colin's pressure, cardio, output is just going to start taking an effect on Hadley because Colin never stops. He never slows down. And, you know, in something that actually showed to me a lot, or proved to me a lot in his last fight, when he when he fought freaking Angel Pacheco, is he can make adjustments. He can't find the finish. All right, let's just piece this guy up a little bit, stay out of danger, and let's get the win. Seven finishes. He's not really a first-round uh, finish guy. He's just not three of them out of his nine or uh, ten fights. Four finishes in the second round. Has been to a decision a couple of times in his career. Two times. Also lost one against Taylor Lapolis, who's a very overall well-rounded fighter. I was supposed to fight Ramon Tavares, which I think is a terrible matchup for Ramon. Uh, better matchup, uh, again, with Jake Hadley. Just two pretty good fighters, you know. He was supposed to fight Giannis Gamori, and then it was switched to Taylor Lapolis, which... Unbelievable switcheroo right there, let me tell you that much. But again, wasn't even thinking about fighting that really a grappler. But anyways, fighting Angelo Pacheco, like I said, Angel Pacheco, able to make uh, adjustments on the fly, all those good things. Uh, fighting Jake Hadley, who's had some issues in the UFC, especially with straight grapplers or straight wrestlers and good guys that have good movements. See, they haven't even changed it here. It's still Ramon Tavares on the UFC site, but it's obviously not. Just looking at Colin Lockerin's uh, uh, stats here. Strikes landed per minute, 6.27. Accuracy is 47. Strikes absorbed per minute, 5.73. Defense is 56. And then here's where it can get fun. is takedowns, 2.5. Accuracy is 33. And then no submissions, you know, all those good things. Um, let me look up Jake Hadley. Jake Hadley. I think it's L E Y. Um is it not L E Y? Wait. L E Y. Uh that doesn't make any sense. Last name. Eves. Let's see. Jake. Enter first, okay. Oh, White Kong. I think that's his nickname. Right here. Okay. Why the fuck wouldn't you pull up when I said Jake Hadley? That's stupid. Okay, so strikes landed per minute, 3.36. Accuracy is 42. Strikes absorbed per minute, 3.56. Uh, striking defense is 60%. With takedowns, 0.24. Accuracy is 6. Whoa. Takedown defense is 35. Submission attempts is about 1.5. 1.7, but like 1.5 a fight. Um, again, you look at the guys that have had success with him. I mean, it's it's pressure fighters. I mean, that that's literally what it is. If, if you see it, seven and a half minutes, of damn near for Cody Durden. Charles Johnson had two twelve. Or Jake Hadley actually had two twelve right there. But again, a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure from uh, Charles Johnson. You know. Um, 74 attempted strikes for Johnson in the second, 54 in the third. You know, he actually out threw Johnson in the first round, which is what I was talking about, the cardio. Uh, and in the two fights that he's won, or th I guess, yeah, two fights in the UFC that he's won, 
He's been able to dictate where the fight goes, how the fight does. He's been able to dictate these things. And unfortunately for him, Colin Lockeran is just a very, very good pressure fighter with these lower guys. I mean, he's he's ranked 76. Where the heck is, is Hadley at? Which, it doesn't always matter. Look at that. Plus 25. This is a guy they don't even know about in Colin Lockeran. But again, I like Colin. I think he gets the job done. I don't think he gets a finish, per se. Jake Hadley's defensively okay in that aspect. But I think Colin gets a much, much needed uh, finish. Now, does Jake Hadley need a win? But again... Even if Jake loses this fight, he took it on short notice, he's going to get another opportunity. I don't want to see him fighting on a three-fight losing streak because it's hard to come back from those things. But he won't be done 100% if he loses this because he took it on short notice. UFC loves those guys. They will give him another opportunity guaranteed. But Colin Lochran, in the end, will be your winner. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. And as always, peace.